Hi everybody. This is my Black Ghost knife fish tank. Just this morning I put a rubber lip pleco in here and I thought that out of the rubber lip pleco I had in here before and the bristle nose, I thought it was the rubber lip pleco that had died and the bristle nose was the one that was left and in hiding. But if you'll see that one on the rock right there, that is very clearly a rubber lip. He was in there just munching on that rock, which is why it's so clean. And that was my black ghost knife fish chasing this rubber lip out of its tank. I mean out of its cave. This is the rubber lip I put in there this morning that just came out of quarantine. Uh, although I say this morning, it was about a half an hour ago. So he hasn't been in the tank very long and it just sort of swam to the bottom and kind of hid underneath of this plant here. And that's where it's been ever since. And as we just saw the rubber or the uh, black ghost just came out and more or less said get off of my lawn, shooed him away. So eventually this fish will find its way. I don't know why it's trying to swim forward instead of just trying to swim away and get back into the tank somewhere. And there we go. Now I think it'll eventually figure it out. Maybe because the room is darker, it's trying to swim off into the darkness and away from the brightly lit tank. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like it's catching on to the idea that it can swim the other direction. Except when it wants to swim into the Black Ghost Knife Fish tank. Or a cave. I keep calling it the tank. Uh, that's the cave where the Black Ghost Knife Fish lives. As you probably figured out if you didn't know already. So this fish will figure it out. And this is the one I wanted to show you though. I was just shot a video this morning talking about seeing evidence of all the clean spots and then sure enough I'm actually seeing it and surprisingly it is the rubber lip that's in there still living and doing well it's not the bristle nose so the bristle nose must be the uh, one I have in the freezer in the other room when I got it out it was pretty badly decomposed so I could tell that it was one of them but I didn't know which one I was just sort of making the assumption that it was the rubber lip because I have prob you know I have issues keeping the rubber lip. It's it's um, not unusual for them to die in my tanks after a period of time, and I've been told that the bristle nose are a lot more hardy, and so I was just assuming that the bristle nose had survived, and it was the rubber lip whose body I have. But apparently I was wrong. It's the rubber lip that's still in there. So at any rate, I just wanted to get that little bit on video. My battery is about to die any second now, so I'm going to have to get going. Uh, but make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss any of the updates I got coming up on this tank. We'll see if this fish ever figures out that there's glass in this direction. And maybe he should swim the other direction. And, of course, don't forget this one is my Black Ghost Knife Fish tank. So thanks again for watching. See you real soon in the next one.